saw something else down here. We got some color. Look at that. Oh wow, that is a holy grail there. The cottage house stood up there on the streets, sort of where those trees are. I'm at the back of the lot. I kicked some marks in the ground in the area we'll be digging. I believe this could be the old outhouse pit. It seems to be five by three. I felt a bunch of glass down there. We'll get it opened up. something good. That is a hutch top. Wow. This pit is loaded. I can't really get my trowel through without hitting something. There's another one. And another one. Embossed pharmacy bottle. Wolf Wilson Drug Company, St. Louis. This is definitely from the cottage house era. Wow. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a pit this loaded before. It's just one thing after another. They're stacked. Got some flow blue fragments. Another Wolf Wilson Drug Company, St. Louis, circa 1900. A Crown Oval style drugstore bottle, circa 1905. Another one. Cherryvale, Kansas. C.H. Ward, leading druggist. Oh, here we go, some ironstone whiteware. There was a restaurant running connection with the boarding house. The CCTP company? Semi-granite. Herbine. I've never seen one of these before. Oh, okay. Could be a liquor flask or a bitters bottle. Would have had a paper label right here. It's full of groundwater, tool top. This is truly amazing. There are so many pieces down here. Every time I clear one out, I see another one. This one has a bunch of writing. Oh. <laughs> I'm not 
take a minute. Thompson's Original Hygieia Wild Cherry Phosphate. This is directions on it. A uh, teaspoonful. Wow. like a possible shoe polish bottle. Very early machine made. That's no doubt pre-World War I. Let's see, you got this amber colored one down here, but got some other pieces in the way. Pull these up first. The Michigan Drug Company, Detroit, Michigan. Looks like it could have been some kind of oral care product. I got this big one here. Ah, oh, broken. CH Ward leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas, prescription bottle. I've seen these before at Wyeth and Bro, Philadelphia. This is a popular company. I believe they manufactured medicines. Oh wow, that's a big one. It looks like a paneled medicine. Oh, and here we go. Bromo Seltzer, Emerson Drug Company. Find a lot of these. Not sure if I've ever seen a pit this loaded. Vapo Cresoline Company. Working on this big aqua bottle. This could really be something here. Look at all this little stuff. Little ointment pot. Not sure I've dug one of these before. Dr. Kilmer's. U and O ointment, Binghamton, New York. That's a ground lip. That is really cool. Just stuff falling out all over the place. Let's see, this one's up top. Crown top beer bottle. No markings whatsoever. Huh. Some kind of amber glass vial. I've never dug one of these before either. Top prescription bottle. Classic Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney and Liver Cure, Binghamton, New York. These are found all across the U.S. from the turn of the century. C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. That's a beauty. Oh, 
Oh, this pit just won't stop. Their blue bottle of uh, their little bromo seltzer. This could be a soda. Oh, there's stuff everywhere, everywhere in here. Wonder what this is. all intertwined in here. Caldwell Syrup Pepsin, manufactured by Pepsin Syrup Company, Monticello, Illinois. Wow. Looks like maybe a couple soda bottles on the way out here. This one has a ton of writing. Aurora Lithia Pure Spring Water, Chicago Consolidated Bottling Company. Wow. This one. Ah, oh, too bad. Mutchler and Weiser, Cherryvale, Kansas. That would have been a tooled crown top. Kind of a broken goblet. No embossing, square tooled top piece. Tooled top prescription bottle. liquor bottle uh, something made there's not a lot of the label left on that thing you can see I got many pieces on the way out here this one stands out the most some kind of cold cream container it's like the oh cootie hey packing company I dig bottles from this I'd never dug a cold cream container before though It looks like a soda, top's broken. Maybe I'll dig an intact one of these, another one of these Mutchler and Weissers from Cherry Vale. And this one, I got it loose. Still packed in there. Oh wow, Dr. Kilmer's Ocean Weed Heart Remedy. That is a holy grail there, look at that. Get stuff under it. Another broken cherry veil bottle. What are these? Are these? Oh, looks like some kind of turn mold syringes, amber glass. Huh. Wow, so I just cleared the dirt off. Ah, there's a ton of embossing on this. Calk and DeMont Pharmacist, Independence, Kansas. That is something. Looks like someone broke the top when they pried the cork out. Wow. And a uh, standard shoe polish bottle. Still has some residue inside. ton of broken stuff in here. It's oh, kind of heartbreaking, but at least you're finding some good stuff. Look at all this. Preserved bottle, tooled top. Some kind of paneled piece. Looks like uh, Woodbury, New Jersey, LM Green Proprietor. It's a medicine bottle. Ooh, 
what's this? W.S. Hannum, Druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Looks like a ink bottle. No embossing, blown out shoulder. And a oh, broken Hutchinson bottle. Oh no. Much, much learn wiser, Cherryvale, Kansas. The top must have been broken and that's why they chucked it. Wow. Another cold cream container. Unembossed panel bottle. Tooled top prescription bottle. Another one of those amber pieces. Those are wild. Crown oval style drugstore bottle. You can see everything's just piled on top of each other here. I mean, these bottles falling out. Another cold cream container. No embossing. Looks like a extract bottle. Ball neck panel style. I see there's some kind of a flow blue piece down here. Looks like a maker's mark. Malta, Germany. Has some kind of insignia on it. We'll have to do some research on that. That's beautiful. Looks like some kind of prescription bottle sticking out. Here we go. That's C.H. Ward, leading pharmacist, Cherry Vale, circa 1905. Liquor flask, again, circa 1905. And an ink. No embossing on this one either. It's likely a Carter's or a Sanford's. Slick drugstore bottle. Go into this wall of artifacts, basically. Another cold cream container, early machine made. And looks like a early machine made shoe polish. Huh. Top's broken, but it's the National Remedy Company, New York. I've dug these before. Slick drugstore bottle. There's a big one. No embossing, broken. Drugstore bottle. We've got some kind of chemical bottle. No embossing, tooled top. Uh, I know the shape. Okay, it's a swamp rut. Dr. Kilmer's swamp rut kidney and liver cure. Binghamton, New York. Oh, 
there we go. Castoria, which one is it? Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria, popular product. Here we go. C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherry Vale, Kansas. Turn mold vial. Held little pills, likely. Oh, maybe this is intact. Look at that. That is nice. Liquor bottle. Uh, the town was under prohibition, so this was likely mail order. Has a nice design, a semi-porcelain teacup. Had some 24 karat gold leaf around the edge. Some kind of floral designs, beautiful. Oh, this fell out. Another cold cream. What's that say? <sighs> Has the paper label intact on it. I'll have to uh, clean that off. Paul's Balsam for the Lungs, New York, Dr. Hall, New York. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Some kind of pickled goods container. These are hardly ever embossed, would have had a paper label. C.H. Ward, Cherry Vale, Kansas. Old top prescription bottle, circa 1905. The liquid, this was a Hutchinson bottle, I believe. It was the Liquid Carbonic Company. That's the mark there. Wow, Sparks Indian Cough Syrup. That's really something. Tool top prescription bottle. What's up with this? Armor, Chicago, Vigoral? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. That's wild. And another C.H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. kind of extract bottle. Wow. 
tool top prescription drugstore bottle. Broken Cherry Vale, one of those CH Wards. Gold top prescription bottle. Oh. Another one, CH Ward, Cherry Vale, Kansas. And another. Looks like some kind of liquor flask. Ah, shoe fly liquor flask. Unembossed. Top prescription bottle. And another. Oh, there's something. Another tool top prescription bottle. Familiar little blue bottle. Bromo Seltzer. Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Ketchup bottle. Oh, wow. Ward Drug Company, Prescription Druggists, Cherry Vale, Kansas. Oh, wow. Dr. J.S. Porch, Prescription Druggist, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Crown Opal style prescription drugstore bottle. Some kind of chemical bottle, possibly hydrogen peroxide. Some kind of food product, tool top. A Vaseline, Chesbro, New York. Top to a goblet of some sort, chalice. Some kind of a backlight syringe. Crown oval style prescription bottle. Rex Oval style prescription bottle. Uh, tool top food bottle. Tool 
top prescription bottle. Tooled top prescription bottle. Another tooled top prescription bottle, I think. Wow, what's this all about? What's that say? Peach blow cream, soft weight hands. Makes the skin soft and smooth. Pittsburgh, Kansas. Wow. This is wild, all these embossed prescription bottles. Another Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. Listerine, classic. Slick drugstore bottle. C.H. Ward, Cherryvale. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryville, Kansas. Some type of chemical bottle. Wow, so this is an egg, some kind of glass egg. These were actually made to put, I was told anyway, in a hen house. And when hens saw these, they would lay eggs near them. Interesting. It's a blob top beer. SB and G Company, that's the Streeter Bottle and Glass Company. Streeter, Illinois. I got two embossed bottles on the way out. This one looks like a Dr. D. Jane's. Tonic for Mifuge, 242 Street, Philadelphia. This one. All right, Ward from Cherryvale. Oh, some kind of toiletry product. Uh, broken beer. SB and G Company, Streeter Bottle and Glass Company. I got a couple pieces on the way out. Looks like some semi porcelain, damn, some kind of round piece. Oh, Solon Palmer's, Florida Water, New York. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's okay. Just broken. That 
floral pattern's awesome though. Look at that color. Wow, turn of the century. I saw something else down here. We got some color. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. SS Sanford's inks made in USA. That is beautiful. It's got a pour spout on it. Beautiful color. There's a couple pieces here. Oh, what's this? Oh, Watkins. Watkins face cream. Winona, Minnesota. Long ways from home. Slick Rex Oval. These things are always unembossed. Everything's kind of wedged in here. Possibly a toiletry type bottle. Some kind of gloss. Some embossing. C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Wow. I see embossing on these prescription bottles here. Could be good. Let's carefully dig these out so we don't damage anything. Let's see. All right, C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. And I've looked at the bottom. These are actually a uh, December 11th, 1894 patent from the Whittle Tatum Company. Worth noting. Another one just underneath it. And another one. This is interesting. Wow. Mustards? Drugstore? Cherry Vale. It's a Sheldon style drugstore bottle. like a crown oval drugstore bottle. Another CH Ward, 1894 patent bottle, Cherryvale, Kansas. one of these. I think they're a medicine based on a partial label we found on one of these. Could be some kind of patent medicine. C.H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. prescription bottle. Three pieces on the way out. Looks like a beer. Oh, is this colored? Let's see. 
Oh wow, they have some kind of colored, uh, maybe pharmaceutical. Oh yeah, PD and Company. That's uh, Park Davis. They were a pharmaceutical product manufacturer. I believe they were in Michigan. Kind of semi porcelain piece has a gold rim. That's interesting. What we got here. Little chemical bottle. Now, to get this thing out, I think it's a beer. Could be a canning jar. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Some kind of pharmaceutical product jar, a tooled top. That is wild. You see, we have just bottles falling out. It's like a little pharmaceutical product. Another chemical bottle. Could be a hydrogen peroxide. M. MC or MGW. I think I've dug these before and could not figure out what glass company made these, or company for that matter. Cold cream. No embossing. Oh, no embossing. Pharmacy bottle. This one has some embossing. This one's slick. Rex Oval. Ah, corner's blown out. One of those wards from Independence. Big cold cream jar. Wow. No embossing on it. Look at the size of that though. I got this cluster of items pulled up. Um, Meller and Company Essex. It's a semi porcelain plate. I think it has a design on it. There's a floral pattern, it's hard to see. And I'll flip it to show the design. Meller and Company. What was underneath it? Slick panel bottle. Chamberlain's Cough Remedy Classic. Listerine. Lambert and Company. That's the same product that's still being sold this day. This one could be interesting. Oh, what do we got going on? Is it De Lacy's French hair tonic? Huh, I've never seen one of these. Another one underneath it. Oh, some kind of pickled goods container, it's broken. This just keeps going, wow. Crown oval style prescription bottle. It's got some medicine residue in it. Plenty of pieces on the way out. Got this one, some panel piece. Dr. Drake's German Croup Remedy. That's 
cool. I've never seen one of these. Okay, another one of these hair tonics. Let's see. Oh, there's another one down here. Huh. And a blank medicine or liquor flask. Vaseline, yeah, Chesbro Manufacturing. I find a lot of these. And another. stone piece it looks like. Wow. Small pharmacy bottle, prescription bottle. Chamberlain's colic, cholera, and diarrhea remedy. <laughs> Find these all across the Midwest. Looks like it has fire damage. Oh wow. Kind of ironstone piece. Definitely has fire damage. No maker's marks. That's wild. So as you can see we've been digging all day. We're only down a few feet. This is no doubt an outhouse pit that was used by the cottage house circa 1905. There's no end in sight. All kinds of artifacts on the way out. Three right here. Looks like some medicine bottles. Prescriptions. Yeah, this one's broken. H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. Broken medicine, possibly a liquor bottle. Another Chamberlain's colic, cholera, diarrhea remedy. Liquor flask, a nice color. <sighs> Broken bean pot. It's a some kind of salt glazed piece. Thing, some little tooled top bottle. Could 
be an ink or a toiletry. Oh, there we go. Dr. King's new discovery for consumption. I found these all across the Midwest. I believe it was a Chicago company. Too bad that didn't have some embossing on it. <laughs> Look at that crown oval. I think it's a 16 ounce. Yeah, that's a 16 ounce, wow. I saw one with embossing. Could it be? C.H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas, the 1894 patent. Uh, some kind of amber piece here. Another one. Yeah, these are all wedged in. A blank shoe fly whiskey bottle. Chamberlain's colic, cholera, diarrhea remedy. A liquor flask. Yeah, tool top liquor flask. One of these possible medicines or liquor bottles. Some kind of goblet or chalice, machine made. green one. Oh hey, tool top wine bottle. This fit doesn't cease to amaze me, that's for sure. Wow. It's like maybe a drugstore bottle. Yeah, it's like a 16 ounce Rex Oval style. No maker's mark. It's got a 24 karat gold leaf edging on it. Crown oval style prescription bottle. Some kind of white wear it looks like. Wow, that's blue. Bromo Seltzer, Emerson Drug Company. I think this may be a part of a chamber pot used in connection with the boarding house likely. And a liquor flask. Uh, liquor or medicine bottle, no embossing. Listerine was a popular product. That's a big one. A 
Vigor C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherry Vale, Kansas, one of those 1894 patents. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, it's an interesting design. I think it's the top to a lamp, possibly. Bromo Seltzer. Semi porcelain teacup. Another whiteware piece. Haley or Hanley, Eng England, J and G Meekin. Plates. Uh, Meller, Etruria and Company Meller. It's plain whiteware. And this is like an older one. The CCTP Company Semi Granite. Cool, it has like a griffin or something on it. All kinds of pieces. I was trying to get that one out. And all of these are kind of intertwined. I think this will be the linchpin here. What do we have? Yeah, some kind of medicine liquor bottle of some sort. Huh. Another one. Ironstone whiteware, Meekin, Hanley, England. Tooltop ketchup bottle. Okay, that's what it is. Another one of those liquor or medicine type bottles. Oh wow. Warner's safe. Kidney and liver cure, that's I think that's an applied top. Key mold bottom. That thing's a beauty. A liquor flask with a glass stopper. Pharmaceutical. Oh, nope. Gloves are a little muddy. DeLacy's French hair tonic. Okay. What is this thing? Okay. It's one of those, uh, I think it's a German. Saxliner's Bitter Quill Hyundai Janos. It's a mineral water. It's an English mineral water bottle. Still just loaded. 
another liquor flask. And I have liquor, some kind of medicine bottle. kind of drugstore bottle. And another liquor flask. Okay, Ward, leading pharmacist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Machine made pickled goods container. And another ward prescription pharmacist, Cherryvale, Kansas. I haven't found bottom yet. It's a drugstore bottle. I have some markings on the bottom. No, a glass company. Sometimes these are embossed. Oh yeah. What is this? Sample bottle, Foley's Kidney Cure. Foley and Company, Chicago, USA. Broken extract bottle. Some broken coffee cups. Wow. So this is a mocha ware fragment. This likely predates the site by maybe 20, 30 years. That's really something. Johnson and Johnson, New Brunswick, New Jersey. I, I know what this is. I have some notes on it. I'll plug in some information. It's a ground lip. Oh, there's some more of that. It's not mocha wear. That's early though. That is beautiful. I believe we found bottom is a thin use layer, then clay. There's still some pieces along here. Uh, broken medicine. Uh, tooled top prescription bottle, no embossing. I think this has some embossing. Well, maybe not, it's just some dirt. It's a generic long neck panel bottle, like the medicine. This one is sticking out. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, this is something. W.S. Hannum Druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Got a wreath and a mortar and pestle on it. That is really something. Broken, but that's a big old bitters bottle, I think. Wow. Amber Sanford's ink bottle. That was a popular ink back in the day. Uh, Sanford's and Carter's. Definitely bottom. That is some hard packed dirt. Tooled top ketchup bottle. 
like we have a Hutch soda bottle on the way out, but got a few things around it. PD and Company, another pharmaceutical Park Davis and Company bottle. All right, now the moment of truth. It has liquid in it, that's a good sign. Ah, oh, the top's broken. Another one from Cherryvale. Muchler and Wiser at Cherryvale, Kansas. Wow, that's cool anyway. Oh, some kind of paneled piece. Oh, it's actually embossed. I saw Paris on it. Shop it. I don't even try to pronounce that. I'll find some information on it though. It's from Paris. Some kind of a uh, screw top piece. It's a ground lip, some kind of powder bottle possibly. That looks like uh, another panel. Oh, oh wow. This is a uh, Sparks Indian cough syrup. That's cool. That's definitely a name of the times. I think the side of the pits not oh, finished up. Got a few more though. Oh, Frostilla. I've dug these before. It's a popular product. Turn of the century. I may have a Hutchinson soda bottle, I'm not sure. Lion Manufacturing Company, New York. Just the bottom. Any company on it? Adolphus Bush Glass Manufacturing Company. Rex Oval style drugstore bottle. Another one of those liquor, maybe medicine type bottles. Clearing out this corner, and there's two pieces with embossing. Uh, another Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas, 1894 patent. And I don't know what this one is. Huh. W.T. Campbell, druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. That's something. I I like that. That is, that's a nice piece. We're running out of daylight, so I've been rifling across the bottom, seeing if there's anything left here. One of these ground lip Johnson and Johnsons, New Brunswick, New Jersey, I believe. liquor flask. Uh, not a ground lip. Threaded top though. Oh wow. Ward's Drug Company, Prescription Druggists, Cherryvale, Kansas. Blank drugstore bottle. 
just about out of daylight, but I think we can finish it. Boss Drugstore Bottle, Cliff J. Thompson, Druggist, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria. Another ward, Cherryville, Kansas. A blank paneled bottle, maybe a medicine or an oil. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. Wow, this is something. New York. Durkies. Jerky salad dressing. I've never seen one with that logo on it. Wow. This is the final corner. It's in a very eventful pit. Oops. Maybe one piece left. Broken salad dressing bottle. And oh, sucks the pitchfork. Looks like a little sample sized whiskey. Has some nice color, nice honey amber. The pit's all finished up. This is one for the bucks. 32 embossed prescription bottles. Wow. There's the soda bottles, all of them were broken. Beer bottles, liquor bottles, food bottles, unembossed prescription bottles, pharmaceutical pieces, some generics, and some medicines. A lot of medicines. Oh, we'll get this filled back in.